Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. I know I haven't made uh, any videos for quite some time. Um, this semester of college was a lot harder than I thought it was. So I should be back in December uh, making videos regularly. But what um, I wanted to show today is just some basic, um, some basic things with the settlement and all of that stuff uh, in Fallout 4. I'm decently far. Um, you can see these are all the places I've been to and... Let's see, can I show the quests I completed? Yeah, there's all the quests I completed. And so I'm decently far. I'm level 15, almost 16. And uh, just wanted to show a couple of different things here. Um, different things that help you with the settlement and whatnot. So first of all, uh, don't... My first suggestion is don't try to uh, fur, fur, or furnish all the uh, houses. Uh, go ahead and take down the crappy ones that you can't do much with except scrap them but uh the whole circle for me over here is not being used currently i just i don't have enough people um because what do i have i have eight people right now five of which you start with one of which is a follower that you see when you send your followers that are humans here they count as people and i just set the the uh recruitment radio beacon up I don't want to get too many people. I'm going to probably stop around like 20 people or something like that. Um, but then I made this house, uh, and the sole purpose of it is for beds. And, you know, I've got some chairs here and whatnot. But the main purpose was for beds because you need beds uh, for as many people as you have in your uh, area. And so I put extra beds because this house over here is mine. Uh, that's where all my crap is and whatnot. So I try and avoid, I don't know. It's just like a pet peeve. I would rather just not have the random settlers in my village or my settlement um, sleepy. But this is the house that they kind of inhabit uh, like right off the bat. Uh, so I did furnish it and put some stuff in here and whatnot, uh, but nothing too too important in here. Uh, I probably should just put some more beds in here, but I did put a twin, like a twin style looking bed outside. Um, and then I left this stuff. And you can't move this. I wish you could because I would have moved it to my house. But uh, let's get on. I would put a trunk here um, because all of this different food takes up weight. Some of it's one pound. Some of it's, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.1. Uh, but I would suggest making a trunk or whatever you want, a storage container, to put uh, the different items in here because then you don't have to worry about. Because what I've struggled with... Um, even with the even with Piper or with um, dog meat or whoever I have with me, um, I run out of inventory space really quick just because of the way I set up my character. Um, I don't have. Let's see here. I got up 220 pounds, and it fills up pretty quick by the time you you know you add in your guns. Um, I don't even have heavy armor. I just have the sequin dress, um, and then you know by the time you add all the food up. Um, and then you add all this stuff up, which I actually could leave in my house. Some of it weighs, most of it doesn't. Um, and then once you get junk, because you got to collect junk for different parts in your settlement. And I don't know what the heck he's doing. The hell are you doing, Sturgis? But I would just suggest the trunk. It really helps. It keeps your inventory kind of cleaned up because you don't want to eat any of this uh, unless because then you've got to use a ton of rat away, and it's just not it's not worth it to eat it. So. Just, just make the trunk, and then um, I would separate. Like it wants you to. Well, let's see here. It wants you sure, to take the people and to command them to do the different, to um, assign them to the different plants. But it kind of auto does it, as you can see. I only assign this stuff, um, and so you can see it kind of like auto assigns eventually and uh, they get to work on it so don't really worry about assigning maybe assign them to like i think i assigned her to one of these like you can see it doesn't have her assigned to here but it doesn't say i'm requiring anybody so someone is doing it um so that is the big thing then you know just go around collect your food if you don't need any more food which you can see at the top um i have 21 food and it's in the green so i don't need to so you can just go throw ahead and throw it in the steamer trunk so you always have enough uh food to uh, create more farms if you need it. Um, I just turned the back of this house into the farm um, and took down this fence. I'll get rid of the whole fence and probably continue to extend this and just make it so this house doesn't really have a backyard. Um, and then out here with the water, um, I just suggest immediately putting the two filtration or whatever they're called. What are they called? 
resources, water, uh, the water purifiers, there we go. The water purifiers, just put two in, um, and then put a medium generator because that power is just enough for two of them. And then you don't have to worry about water for a while. Uh, it's just, it's easy. I put down one and I don't know, they, they don't take that many materials, so I would just do it that way. Um, now let me go over to my house. Uh, I have this which is not really being used it's just a scavenging station but i don't really know i put the combat armor out front here you can move all the stuff all the stuff will start over here at this house if you did not know then you can just move it over to whichever house you want or you can actually just take that house and it's just a coincidence or does he actually do this does dog meat actually hang out at the dog house i just put it there for an aesthetic look but maybe he actually does why what the okay i don't know why that stuff's like hovering out here uh, but I moved the weapons and the armor workbench there and then the cooking station to there uh, And then I set up a little bit in here. Uh, the cool thing is you can put stuff like out onto the tables, which is pretty sweet um, But the real thing you need to do at least in my opinion put down some different storage containers um, Obviously get the vault head bobble head stand in um, also, I just put the save here because this has kind of the more key items that I, not really these, I don't know why they're in there, but, you know, I have my mini nukes and mini gun and my Nuka Cola Quantums and my Nuka Cherries because Nuka Cherries were 5 and I wasn't using them, so I'm just throwing them in there. Um, and then these were supposed to be segregated, but they kind of just got combined into this one. This one is just all the different stuff that I either want to break down or I want to have in my house in the future because obviously I can't carry all this. It's like it's got to be like three or four hundred pounds of stuff I have in here, like like these. I oh, know that's value. Sorry, I thought that was a weight, but you know, Jangles the Moon Monkey. That's like four pounds for those two. You know, I wanted. Um, I went ahead and got like baseball stuff because um, I'm in the sports. So you know, baseball for the time that this game is set in or was before the before the nuclear was like the 40s or 50s. So um, baseball was the popular thing. And then I have this here for all the clothes I wanted to hold on to, um, just the different stuff there. The cool thing that I would suggest putting in is this, the magazine rack, uh, because actually the magazines you put in there get displayed. Uh, so, I so I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then I just left the baby room set up. Um, obviously I'm gonna add some stuff to this room. Um, but right now I'm just kind of playing through the game and when I get closer to the end I will um, set up my house more because right now I'd rather play the game than take I already spent like five hours setting up houses and t doing all that junk maybe not five like three hours doing different house stuff um, so I don't really think I want to spend any more time currently doing that uh, and then defenses the these require manned and they really don't give you that much defense i just have them here for the aesthetic look um but the turrets uh the heavy machine gun turret is your best option um in my opinion for defense uh and then you are going to need a lot of copper and one of the thing because anything that takes electricity you're gonna need copper because you got to attach them to a generator and so the cool thing is all the stuff that you throw in this footlocker, you can see in the center all the things it's going to give you. So, you know, if you need to go through here and say I need nuclear material, I can take apart the blast radius board game and get the items I need. Uh, one of the big things you need for weapon mods, um, let me show you. I haven't modded any of these, but one of the, bi the biggest thing you need is a he adhesive. And you can see I have 20 adhesives, um, and then I would just need oil to get these uh, different mods for your weapon, which I'll probably do off video, but uh, just make sure and find adhesive. Um, I believe you can see it in the chest when you go to take it. Um, you just have to click the transfer instead of take, and then you can look and you can see what... Um, Got work to do what supplies you can get for it because you're going to need a lot of this different stuff i've just been taking almost everything uh, at certain areas i've had to make two or three trips within the area like i'll clear part of the area i'll get me and piper full on items and so i'll have to go to diamond city and sell or come back here and store uh the stuff and then go back in and then either finish it or have to do it again uh, because there's a lot of stuff that you can explore um, and there's a lot of items uh, because 
I think there was always a lot of items, but before, junk items were like whatever, you didn't pick them up. Uh, but, like, I pick up pencils and pens now because, you know, I'll set them out on a table when I finally get to uh, fully designing this. Because I think, I think I can make a pretty cool uh, design city here, uh, our little settlement uh, with all the houses and whatnot. But especially when you put out this beacon, if you don't think you're going to, you don't want to support a ton of people. Uh, because what am I at now? Am I still at eight? No, I'm at nine people now. So what you can do is you can come over here and just knock it up. You can whatever switch it off essentially and then people will stop coming and then if you're ready to um, have people come again you can flip it down and they'll start uh, coming again another suggestion I have um, is doing these side quests that relate to the to the um, to the settlement like Raiders troubles at Nordhagen Beach taking points sunshine tidings co-op uh, just different stuff like that that um, can really help you uh, with your own settlement. You can get food. You do get like a hundred caps from each one that you clear, so it's beneficial that way as well. Um, and then, you know, I just unless it's something you really want to do, uh, which I really wanted to do it, but it is time consuming. It is so time consuming to mess with and mess around and furnish a house and all that different stuff. It's like Minecraft when you build a house and then. You get to the furnishing part and no one wants to furnish it you just want to build another house it's kind of that scenario where you know you put the beds down and you put the chairs and all that in the house and then you don't really want to um you don't really want to furnish it like this is like basic furnish like i don't even have anything here i need to get something there you know i want to fill the shelves um i'll at least get like my own house looking really cool um and then i don't want this end table i just put it there because I don't know why. Oh, I think I found it. It was in one of the houses, so I just brought it to my house and set it there for now until I find a better nightstand. Um, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you with a few tips because inventory has been my big issue, just having to go back and forth and all that. And even now, I should probably be storing more of this aid in here because really all I use right now are blood packs, um, the rat away and the uh, stim packs that's really all i use i could probably store everything else um but currently i'm not um if i continue to have super invent if i ever get to a point where i have to make like four or five trips i'll probably store more uh, and try to cut that down because making those trips is time consuming and it's just it's ridiculous the amount of trips and i really actually do think dog meat hangs out in the doghouse so that is pretty sweet um uh, one of the cool things is uh, before I end this real quick, is if Piper, you know, sits down, anybody sits down at one of these, um, they actually will have, like, a glass in their hand as if they were drinking, or, um, I think I saw Garvey with a bottle once, like he was drinking a beer, and, uh, so that's pretty cool, um, just the cool little things in games sometimes, uh, get me really excited like that, that's just, like, a cool little thing that, you know, for about 50% of the people, they could care less if that's a feature, and, like, I could care less if it was there, but it's just cool that it is. Uh, but that's going to do it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll just have little videos like this from time to time leading up until the mid-December, um, end of December time uh, when I will be back to uploading. I have no idea what I'm going to be uploading. I actually have the startings of a video just to update you guys. Uh, we'll probably have some Black Ops 3, I think highlights from Search and Destroy, because I have a couple of highlights already. So I might play that a little bit more and get a couple more highlights so I can do an update video. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.